my favorite time of year chick is uh, when the snow is on the ground, the the trees are bare, and uh, the sky is blue, and uh, the light hits the sculptures and casts shadows, and you really see the objects themselves. Uh, there's no kind of supporting uh, fall or spring foliage uh, to divert your attention. Uh, so you're just focused upon this white tableau with these objects coming out of them in, in, in the snow. There's work here that goes back, I would say, to the early 1970s, uh, right up until this year. So there's a wide there's a wide variety of work here, uh, that shows the the real creative expression of my father's work. You can walk all around and you'll see uh, in here easily several dozen sculptures. Uh, so and we have sculptures in this field, uh, in the clearing by the pond, in the orchard, and a couple of other clearings in the forest behind us. Uh, there's 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 plenty of work and. This is where we pull from when we do our shows. Uh, we load up the truck and keep moving the work around the country. We do a lot of what I'll call municipal shows, uh, where we'll go into a into a downtown area, we'll pick a city and drop maybe 12 or 20 or, or 40 or in one case 62 large sculptures into a downtown area and leave them up for a year. Uh, and those are those are nifty shows. It's it's great getting the uh, reactions and comments from passers-by, especially when the work first goes up. People are always curious and, and uh, usually delighted. Uh, and then when we go in at the end of the year to pick up the work, there's uh, uh, usually a fair amount of unhappiness. Uh, people don't like to see the work go because the, the sculpture has been in their backyard or, or where they work or in their neighborhood for a year and they've grown accustomed to that. Uh, so they're not, they're not happy about <laughs> the work going, going away. Uh, but we like doing those kinds of things. I work in series. Uh, as you may have noticed walking around, I have screen sculptures, I have the totems, and I have the sentinels, and then polychrome pieces. And so, uh, there's, it's all part of the mix. There are separate series within it, but uh, there's no real uh, overall planning or formulation. It's just as the objects appear or develop. And there's one I was particularly struck by. It is, it must have been painted white and the paint is kind of coming off and there's a lovely tree limb that's kind of fallen above it. The way the tree has fallen, it's almost like a frame, like you put a natural frame around it. Yes, I know exactly the piece of which you're speaking. And ironically, just outside the door here, there's another piece which was a hanging sculpture and uh, the tree grew around the piece itself so that part of the tree is actually embedded into the sculpture and we're doing an exhibition of hanging pieces at a small museum uh, next month and uh, we're going to hang this one up uh, with uh, the tree and the sculpture all together. These are hanging sculptures. I'm painting them now for a uh, sweet little show we're doing at the Lutz Trolls Museum. Uh, I'm going to paint them today and I'll hang them next week and then the opening is in early April. Uh, uh, Harriet Lutz, the namesake of the museum, was my father's art teacher when he was in the fifth grade and she was the one who originally saw his talent and suggested to my father that this is a direction he may want to follow. Uh, so it's a nice way for the circle to come around uh, completely.